Hey folks, this is Mark and Bob from Fire Mountain Outdoors, and today I'm issuing a challenge to Mark. But first, before I do that, I just, you know, we went to Maine last year and we got to see a lot of shiny bikes. We saw some shiny bikes, some yeah. pretty stuff. You know, Steve and Aaron both had polished aluminum wheels on their bikes, and I fell in love with that concept. Obviously, polished aluminum is nothing new. Right. But it set something going in my head. Like a disease. A little bit, yeah. and I am diseased. <laughs> like a defect. <laughs> it is. And what did that lead to? Well, that led to, you know, it, it went dormant, Yeah. thinking about it. Then we started doing some stuff with Rokons and I, polishing my own wheels on my own bike. Uh -huh. But this has nothing to do with bikes or Rokons. Yeah. Went to the Aero Precision factory before I started working there. Yeah. And I bought some, an upper and lower, that were raw aluminum. Right. With the intention of polishing these things. Okay. And so for the last three months, while being up in Tacoma, I've been working on a rifle. Well, what'd you do? Like I said, I don't know if this is dumb, stupid, or cool, or it makes me look like a pompous asshole. Uh, yeah. But uh, I built a rifle that Looks like something Saddam Hussein would have had in his bunker if it was an AK-47. It, it looks like uh, it looks like a biker build-off kind of a kind of a, a theme bike, a show bike. If you had a show bike and you built a show gun, a show gun. Show gun. Wow! <laughs> 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 right. And so you know, some of uh, you that are watching have probably, if you were on our Instagram or Facebook pages, you probably seen few different uh, variations of this as it's been uh, being built. Not knowing where it's leading, uh, Garrett over at Strike Industries saw what I was doing and he's like, well, you know what? You need one of my muzzle brakes and I'm going to chrome plate it. So he sent that out to me. It's so shiny, Bob. I know, and so I'm almost afraid to shoot it, but you know, you can't have a gun and not shoot it. I can check my complexion in it. <laughs> but, it, you know, it's also... Uh, I wanted a piece of functional art. And so herein lies my, uh, my uh, quest to come up with some sort of competition. I want to see you build a piece of functional artwork, a rifle. I spent three months on this thing, so I think a deadline of three months isn't that uh, negligible. Okay. I think you can do it. That sounds about right. Uh, so before hunting season, because I get busy again there. Right. So towards the end of summer, working through summer, I've got some parts and I have some ideas. You know, the cool thing, I, I've built lots of uh, uh, cars, trucks, motorcycles. One of the cool things about building an AR is that you can, you can start from the ground up in one piece at a time, just like the Johnny Cash song. You can, you can assemble uh, a collection of parts and, and build a very cool rifle like this. Even once you get beyond, okay, I've, I've covered my, my home defense firearm and then maybe I've got a hunting firearm and by golly, I need a pistol. And you know, pretty soon yeah, it, you get to the spot where this makes sense, <laughs> right? <laughs> because I've covered all the bases and uh, so now we're now we've we've jumped off the deep end a little bit, and we're into theme builds. That's just, right. Just because we covered all the bases, but they're still so fun to build. And uh, and you've made the uh, the uh, the shiny. Uh, I kind of like your Saddam Hussein uh, analogy. This uh, you know in Texas they have what they call uh, barbecue pistols, right. where you'll have custom engraved 1911s or or in the South. And boy, that's your that's your showpiece. That's what you wear on your Sundays to the barbecue to show it off. That's right. And so, and you made yourself a barbecue AR. <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> you know, I, I was going with kind of like at first I wanted like a, uh, you know, a, like a uh, Terminator themed rifle mm -hmm. or a Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. And and the uh, Terminator and the the other guy with the the Mercury Blob fella. Right. Yeah. Right. There's there's some of that going on here. There is. Yeah. And you know, and the the sick part of this is, you know, with uh, the hours and hours and hours of hand polishing with mother's 
aluminum mag polish, uh -huh. I could spend equally as many hours as I've already put into it trying to fix all of the characteristics that are in the metal. Right. I, I don't right. think it'll ever be a hundred percent perfect, so I think it's I think it's about as done as it can be. I'm just enjoying the heck out of putting fingerprints on it, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need more fingerprints on it, you know, just to help block the glare. Well, it definitely has glare. I accept your challenge for a piece of functional art AR, and uh, and I'm going to chew on what theme and what mode I'm going to I'm going to go with. But uh, I only request that you don't do anything polished on it. I won't. That's an easy. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's an easy choice. So uh, I've got a couple ideas that are stirring around in my head right now. Um, I want to see you shoot this. Yeah, I, I'm going to shoot it today. Uh, hopefully, it's going to work. You know, any time that Bob builds something, it's a little bit scary. <laughs> uh, but I did have some help from the guys down in the armory at uh, at Aero Precision with the uh, the barrel installation and stuff. That is a very very cool build. Yeah. So uh, let's load up a magazine and uh, qu quit touching it. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> We'll now it's the, got cooties. Yeah, it does. So you just bought it. We'll let the uh, dollar. <laughs> it's foot long. So in the, yeah. So in three months. In three months. We'll reconvene. Yes. We'll let the folks decide. You know who has the coolest AR. Uh, I, I, I think I'm going to win, uh, based on today because I, I have the only one with the shiny rifle, but. Uh, but in three months, it could be something totally different. This is quite a challenge that you've laid out here, Bob, because it's actually really impressive and very cool. It's a very cool AR. And, uh, you know, the, the thing about this is uh, amongst all the other functional ones in the collection, if it was hanging up on the wall, this one's going to catch the eye, catch the attention, and and make the most questions. What You know, what's up with that? Right. So... But at the same time, like I said, it makes me feel a little bit pompous. I don't know if I want to show up to a, a three-gun match with this thing, because people are going, "Oh wow, look at that guy with the uh, the silver rifle." Well, you'd have to you'd have to score high enough to make it make it justifiable. Exactly. And then maybe you'd have a market to sell it. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. No, it's very cool. Very well, cool. Very pretty. Well, thank you. Yep. Let's shoot it. All right. Well, Bob, why don't you show us what that blinged out, chrome, shiny creation you got there can do. Can it Can it actually send lead down range? Well, we're, we're going to find out. Yeah? Uh, it's almost a, a pity to have to shoot it. But like anything that's functional art, you have to use it. All right. Going hot. <laughs> Runs pretty good. You want to give it a try? I do. Riding in the showboat. Well, she shoots just as good as she looks, Bob. That's a win. I like it.